from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. I'm student meteorologist A.J. Mastrangelo here with your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast here for Monday. Take a look at our current conditions here in the State College area. We do see we do have those partly cloudy skies above us, but then right at the surface we do have some fog at the moment, and that's because our temperature is sitting in there at 46 degrees at the moment, but then our dew point is also sitting in there at 46 degrees. Some of that moisture from last night kind of sitting right by the ground, making it for some lower visibilities around five miles at the moment, and um, that could locally change due to that fog dense in areas at the moment. That wind is also calm right now. Central Pennsylvania temperatures, many places sitting in the upper to mid 40s at the moment. Altoona, State College, Clearfield, all around 46 degrees right now. But then places to our east and west sitting a little bit warmer at the moment. For example, Johnstown sitting in there at 61 degrees, almost a 15 degree, or it is a 15 degree temperature difference from Altoona at the moment, which is pretty crazy given how close these locations are. Zooming out to greater Pennsylvania area, we can see more of the same, the mountainous areas, seeing cooler temperatures this morning, but then places to our east and west, some of the metro areas such as Pittsburgh, there at 60 degrees, and then Philadelphia as well, there at 64 degrees at the moment. So for our temperature changes the past 24 hours, if you did notice it's a little bit warmer, uh, waking up this morning, especially in the metro areas, only State College five degrees warmer than it was yesterday morning, but places like Pittsburgh, Franklin, uh, places down here in Philadelphia, Allentown, it is a lot warmer than when you woke up yesterday, and that's because we have some of that warm air advection coming up from the south, giving us those warm temperatures as we wake up this morning. Temperatures across the United States now, you can see many places relatively warm here in the southeast, northeast, um, and that's because of that warm air advection as I was talking about earlier. We do have a big low pressure system kind of sitting right over here around the Chicago area. Behind that cold front though, we do have colder temperatures. International Falls and Bismarck sitting much colder than what we're at at the moment, and those colder temperatures will look to make its way towards our area as we make it our way into this afternoon and evening hours as this cold front kind of pushes further uh, south and eastward throughout the day today. Our current radar and satellite now here in central Pennsylvania, not too much that rain from earlier making its way out of our area, allowing for some clear skies at the moment. Uh, not too much to talk about in terms of precipitation right now. Zooming out to the northeast now, we can see that low pressure system, some of that precipitation from yesterday making its way uh, up through the northeast at the moment. Some of the higher elevations here in Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont seeing some snow at the moment as well. But then as we look down here towards Cincinnati and Cleveland, we do have another shot of rain and that'll look to make its way into our area for this afternoon, evening, and kind of linger into tomorrow afternoon and evening as well. For our future weather now, you can see those clouds increasing throughout the day. We could have some showers, possibly an isolated thunderstorm this afternoon, but not looking like a complete washout here for, for the State College area. Some isolated thunderstorms will be possible, but then as we head into the overnight hours, we could be getting into some of those heavier showers and embedded thunderstorms. So certainly make sure you have the phone on, not on silent, making those alerts come through your phone. We do have a slight chance for some severe weather, so be sure to do that as well. Into the overnight hours, those showers continue into the morning hours here, and then that wraparound precipitation coming back on the back side of a low pressure system. We will not be really increasing our temperatures much during the day tomorrow, and those showers will look to continue. Overall, just a very gloomy, uh, wet day tomorrow here in the State College area and greater Pennsylvania as well. Making our way into tomorrow night, we can see those clouds start to, those, that precipitation starting to dissipate and those clouds will be sticking around. But then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, we will be seeing some of this clearing making its way into central Pennsylvania for the afternoon hours. So that will be make for a beautiful day on Wednesday. But then as we head into Thursday and Friday morning, we are tracking another low pressure system in the form of rain once again here in the State College area, looking like a very wet and soggy day here on Friday. We'll be keeping eyes on this as it is five days out at the moment, but certainly plan for rain and to have the umbrella here on Friday. Making our way into Saturday now, we can see some of those showers start to dissipate as the low pressure system moves off on into the New England area. But Saturday also looking a little bit damp and gloomy uh, here in the State College area to start your weekend. Sunday, we finally clear out sunny skies for the most part here in central Pennsylvania, but cooling down behind another cold front to end the week. Severe weather outlook. Today we do have a marginal risk here in the State College area and points south a little bit to our north as well. 
Um, but points to our south could be seeing some hail, damaging winds uh, associated with thunderstorms tonight and into the overnight hours. In terms of precipitation, many places seeing between half an inch to an inch here with the rainfall between today and tomorrow. This is ending here at Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. But places such as Allentown, Scranton could be seeing more rainfall associated with sitting closer to the center of that low pressure system, kind of that moisture feeding up through the Atlantic. Uh, right into those areas. And there actually is some flash flood watches here issued for much of New Jersey at the moment. And that'll look to make its way, that rain will look to make its way out of our area before them. So they'll be sitting, uh, getting a little bit more rain towards the end of the system. So for today, expect those showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Not too widespread at the moment. It will be warm though. Uh, 71 degrees, those temperatures will look to make it their way into the upper 60s for this late morning and afternoon hours. So definitely get out there, enjoy it before the rain comes and dampers your later Monday and Tuesday as well. Uh, that wind will be out of the south at 10, 5 to 10 miles per hour, so not too much to worry about there. For tonight, expect those showers and thunderstorms to increase in likelihood. Uh, that wind will be out of the southeast due to that warm air kind of making its way up through the up through the uh, southeast into our area, five to eight miles per hour, so not too much to worry about. But we are not really cooling down tonight. Only 54 degrees for the overnight hours. And then for tomorrow, doesn't look like we're warming up at all much either. 56 degrees, our high temperature. Those overcast conditions will look to stay throughout the day. Those showers will be wrapping around on the backside of the low pressure system. And temperatures will be cooling off behind the cold front. And that cold front will also give us that wind out of the northwest at eight to 15 miles per hour possibly gusting up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. So certainly uh, secure the loose objects for tomorrow. It could be a little bit gusty behind the front at this point. Seven day forecast now, our PM showers and storms today, 71 degrees, very nice and warm. Uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, we are seeing those showers continue. Clearing out for Wednesday, some, some sunny skies could be coming back there for the middle of the week. Thursday, that increase in cloudiness as another low pressure system, more rain comes into our area here for Friday. And then those lingering showers on Saturday. And then as we head into the end of the weekend, we'll be seeing those sun and clouds here in the State College area to end the weekend, making for a beautiful end. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Adrian Mastrangelo. Have a great day.